Hello and welcome everyone to yet another video on strings in Java, sorting the syntax. Given the problem statement where in the given sentence the words are rearranged and to each word the word position is appended. But we have to note that the position of the word is not zero at the index, it's one indexed, which means if this is the sentence, we see that the first word, which is actually at the zeroth index, this is reshuffled. And we have, instead of zero, we have the index, the word position as one. Similarly, the second word, which is at first index, is having two. So it is the one indexed word position instead of the zero index. So the objective of this problem statement is if we are given a shuffled sentence like this, we have to rearrange the words. And we have to reconstruct the sentence in a way such that the original sentence can be written. So with this, let's get started. So we have in the main method, we have taken the input sentence. And since we have to return another string, so I'm going to say original sentence sort the sentence and in this I'm going to take in my input sentence. So I'm going to create this method. Now in this method, what we have to do, the approach for this would be, we already have the words in the sentence. We have to first split the sentence using the delimiter space. Once we get all the words separately, the idea is we have to take each word and then we have to examine what is the word position. I mean, what is the index which is appended to the word. Once we figure that out, that okay, this is index one or two or whatever, we have to construct a new array, a new another string array, and we have to keep on putting the respective words into the new array. So as we have the method ready, the first thing that we have to do is we have to convert the string into a array. By splitting the sentence based on space. That's the delimiter over here. Once we got this array, we have to also define a temporary sentence array which is going to be of the same length of the sentence array. This new array, I mean the intermediate array, is going to have the reconstructed sentence, which means it's going to have the words in the original order that was there. Now we have to traverse through our um, input array. So within this for loop, what we are going to do, let's try to understand that carefully. The first thing that we have to do is, given a word inside the array, we have to fetch the word position, which means if the word is like sentence four, then we first retrieve this position four out of this. Next is once we get the position, we have to put the word in its right position in the temp array. Which means if the position is four, then it should be placed in the third location, which means in the third uh, position of the temporary position. One more thing to note is given the word that we have in sentence array, we have to remove the word position from the end. There are these three steps that we have to do. We have to remove the word. I mean, basically, we have to interchange step number two and three. We have to remove the word position from the end and then put the original word inside the temporary array, which means if sentence four is the word, get the four, uh, four as the index then put it in the third index of the temporary array and then remove this, this number from the end, the index number from the end of the word and then only remove, uh, then only put the 
correct word inside the temple reality. We cannot just plug the uh, this word what we are getting inside the temple reality. So there has to be a step for that as well. So that's the uh, approach that I have jotted down. So let's do that one by one. First, let's try to get the word position. So I'm going to say in position, or maybe like word position. So in order to get the word position, what we have to do first, this is the sentence array. At the ith index, that's the first index, we have the word. Now, sentence array i is the word. Then we have to do a char add. So char add of what? We need the last index, which means the word that is sentence arr of i, this is the word, dot length means the entire length of the work, minus one. So I'll give you another example to illustrate this. If our word is sentence four, or maybe five. So sentence five is one word, which is sentence ARRI. Now we have to do a care at of this position, that is the last position. So this entire length of the word, minus one gives us the last index position that is 5. So this 5 we have to get. So that is what we are getting over here after doing a caret. Now the next thing to notice, caret does not return an integer. I mean, it can return, but it returns essentially a character. If we just plug the int equal to caret, it will return the ASCII value of that character, which we don't want. We, we want the number itself. So so to tackle that, we're just going to subtract character zero from that. So once we do that, we're just going to get the numeric value of the word, the word position. So point number one is done. We have already fetched the word position. What's the next thing? We have to put the word in its right position. But even before putting that in the right position, we have to first remove the index from that word. So in order to do that, let's say this is the word sentence error of i. We have to do a substring. Substring of begin and index. Why substring? Because we are just going to extract the word and remove the uh, and leave out the index position. So we are going to say zero comma. Again, end index is going to be what? In substring method, if we see the begin index is always inclusive the end index is exclusive which means the same thing we have to give sentence arr dot length minus one this is going to it's going till the end of the word but since it is length minus one so it's going to exclude that so it's going to give it to me only till sentence, not the index position. So this entire thing, we have to put it inside our temporary array, which is tem sentence array. Now we have to figure out at what position we have to put. So if the position is five, like we got here, it is a one index. So the position, actual position will be five minus one, that is POS, that is word position minus one. So this is the correct index in which it should be put. So now we have done step number three also, and we have put the word in the right position. Also. So this is something which you have to continue doing till the end of the fourth. Once we have done this, now what we have to do is, now our temporary array is ready with all the words inside it. But we cannot return an array. We have to return a string. So we have to again have another for loop. And within that, we are just going to return. Let me just try to declare a variable originally. Like this, and just going to concat to this 
original sentence plus empty the word. Okay. Now, once we are trying to concat, we also have to keep in mind that the original sentence will have one space in between. So, we have to again concatenate original sentence. sentence dot concat a space but there is a downside of doing this it will keep on iterating but for the last word also it's going to attach add one more space to them which we don't want so to counter that we are just going to do like original sentence equal to original sentence dot trip. So the trailing white spaces will be removed. Then we are just going to return the original sentence. That's it. So that's the entire logic of sorting the sentence. Now we are just going to print this. Let's see how the sentence is constructed. Let's try to run this. Yeah, so we have got our desired output. This is the same as what we wanted. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.